Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to be taking a look at the Surveyor 19 MBLE. This camper comes in just under 23 feet tongue to bumper and just under 4,000 pounds empty. As we get started up front here, you'll notice it comes with a power tongue jack with the LED light so you can see if it's nighttime while hooking up. A single pound, uh, or I'm sorry, a single 20 pound LP tank bottle that has the quick access lid so you can reach in and turn that on and off. Has the hard shell cover as well. Right behind that is gonna be a red switch. That is your 12 volt cutoff switch. So that will kill all power to the battery. That way if it's gonna be in storage or parked for a week or so, you can turn that and it won't drain your battery. We also have the 80 watt solar panel on the roof. So if you do have a battery on here, that will help keep that charged up and maintained for you. Front windshield, aerodynamic with the curved radius front end. Also the diamond plate rock guard right down below here. The Surveyor product is all aluminum frame and it is a laminated sidewall as well, which means we have the dense uh, foams, <laughs> excuse me, the dense styrofoam insulation here, and around every opening is framed as well. Magnetic door catches for the slam latch door. Right inside, you'll see the nice storage compartment. They also put a little adapter so you can run the manual jacks up and down with a cordless drill if you'd like to. We have four jacks, two in the front and two in the back. Nice power awning with the LED light underneath it as well. Each arm is adjustable, so if the sun's coming down or a very light rain, you can drop one side or the other to accommodate for that. Sturdy steps going into the camper. I also like to point out there is a white light right behind the step, which is really nice at nighttime to illuminate this so you can see where you're stepping. We have the oversized grab handle to help you in and out of the camper. It is a friction hinge door with a full-size screen door as well. Lots of airflow and extra sunlight there. We have your outside kitchen area with your prep table. We have the griddle that comes with it. Also an outside sprayer. And that comes with the nozzle where you can change uh, the water type coming out. And then your outside TV connections right here. Up top, we have your outside speakers. And those have the blue LED accent lights in there, as well as the porch light right up top. Right back here is lots of storage. Uh, storage is good everywhere you can fit it in, and that is a huge storage area in the back here. Roof ladder, so you can maintain the caulk for maintenance purposes up there. We have the travel rack with your spare tire and cover included. At the very top, you'll notice that black box. It is pre-wired for an observation camera. That would allow you to see behind you the entire time while you're traveling down the road and while you're backing up. Here is your furnace vent. This is a 30 amp unit and it comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord, cable satellite connection, and then your black tank flush. So when you're done camping for the weekend, you simply hook up your water hose there and that will blast out the tank for you. Right underneath, we have your dump station. You can see the black handle and gray handle down there. Gray handle for the gray tank and black handle would be for the black tank. As we move around to the front side, we have your uh, fresh water fill up top. So if you're dry camping or boondocking, you can fill up the fresh water tank, turn on your water pump and use that water. And then if you're at a campground or your house, you simply hook up the water hose right here and that will pressurize the lines for you. Last but not least, we have your six gallon DSI water heater. That stands for direct spark ignition, so it will light itself. And you can get up to 10 gallons of hot water if you're running it gas or electric and up to 16 gallons if you run gas and electric together. That concludes our outside walkthrough of the Surveyor. 19 MBLE, now we'll have to do the inside. As we move to the inside, you'll notice we have the Murphy bed up front here. Slide room with a dinette. As we move around to the back, we have your pantry there in the corner, bathroom in the very back, and your kitchen area over here. We'll get started right inside the entrance door. It's kind of your main control panel here, up top for your antenna. Right underneath that, we'll run your slide room, turn your lights on and off, and your awning as well. And then we have your solar charge port down at the bottom. Since we have the 80 watt solar panel on here, that is a limiter to keep your battery from overcharging as well. Stereo, which is AM and FM, and Bluetooth compatible, so you can sync your phone to it. Storage up top with the glass doors. We have your range vent, which will vent to the outside. Window in the kitchen, nice backsplash, two burner stove top, and that has the cover, so you can use that as prep space if you're not cooking. 
single bowl sink and that also has the prep cover as well and right on the end here you'll notice there's a countertop extension that will flip up if you need more counter space drawers three of them there for extra storage the microwave down below and i do believe that is a convection microwave yes it is a convection microwave underneath the refrigerator is your breakers and fuses this is a 12 volt refrigerator it is 11 cubic in size and part of the reason why we have the 80 watt solar panel on there is so you can run that while traveling down the road right over here we have your thermostat that is a digital thermostat to control the furnace and air conditioner down below with a 110 outlet and your carbon monoxide detector and then right over here is your furnace and i'm going to open up this storage drawer door here to show you the pantry it has multiple shelves in here for lots of great storage we will move back into the bathroom now in the very back here on the right hand side is going to be the shower area it has a skylight up top you'll notice the shower head over here nice shower pan it also has the door that will pull across. It is a little bit different than the curtains. So this will simply just pull straight across and it comes straight over. We have your medicine cabinet. Nice storage in there. Right up top, we also have the exhaust fan. Large single bowl sink. And we do have a 110 outlet right over here on the side. And then in the very front of it, we have your tank monitors. So you can see how full or empty your tanks are. And then also to turn on your gas and electric water heater and your water pump as well. On the other side, we're gonna have the toilet area and then lots of storage over here. I'm gonna show you these two doors and then open these up. These are the full width of the bathroom here. Lots of storage back here. As you can see, that goes all the way across. And three really nice shelves back here. As we move back up into the bedroom area, in the slide room, again with the dinette, there is storage underneath both dinette seats. This will also turn into another sleeping area, as you'll see with our pictures online. We have windows on all three sides of the slide room, which is pretty unique. Uh, most manufacturers have one or two there. Up in the main bedroom area, we have storage up top. And it has the cargo net, so you can leave it there while traveling down the road. The TV is included. That is part of the package deal for us. With the jackknife sofa, we have cup holders on both sides. You'll notice the 110 outlet and 12-volt charge port on the side here. And there is some storage drawers right down below. This Murphy bed is very easy to use. You simply lay the couch flat. And then there's going to be one lever at the very top up here that is spring loaded. You simply pull on that. And that will allow the bed to drop down. And that is how you release the Murphy bed. Very easy to do. Um, I was able to do that one-handed while videoing here, so very easy, uh, really a great design by Surveyor that they're using here. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the Surveyor 19 MBLE. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.